Hey guys, Tom Altizer down here at Toro Martial Arts Academy. So in this video, what I'm going to start looking at are some weapon defenses, how to defend yourself against certain weapons empty-handed. This information can be found, some of it both on my jiu-jitsu curriculum as well as my Kali curriculum. So I'm not going to go adhere exactly to one curriculum or the other. I'm just going to show a few techniques that you can find on either or, and we'll just kind of categorize this as general self-defense. So the weapon we're going to look at defending today is a stick or club, any kind of bludgeoning weapon. This doesn't necessarily have to be a particular kind of impact weapon. It could be a stick. This could apply to a two-handed weapon like a baseball bat, tire iron, um, any, any other heavy object somebody might swing and try to hit you with. This will not necessarily apply to an edged weapon that has puncturing or slashing capabilities. There will be a separate video for that. So the techniques we're going to look at today are going to apply for the most part only to an impact weapon. Okay? First one is the angle one. That's going to be a forehand diagonal. That's going to be your most common attack. Most people, being right-handed, will have their strong side back. Just like the way they might throw the haymaker punch, the most common angle is going to be that downward, inward diagonal attack. It's going to generally be aimed at your head, neck, shoulder, kind of this side of the body. So the first one we're going to look at is closing the distance as quick as we can, getting to the inside of the arm, controlling for a sweep. So this is the technique. She beats angle one. I block the arm. I hug it nice and tight to my body. From here, I want to get around behind her lead leg so I can do a little back leg sweep all the way to the ground. And then from here, controlling in the knee on belly. And if you notice, I've still got control of the arm on the wrist and on the bicep here. From here to finish, I'm going to choke up and get a deep overhook on her elbow, touch the shoulder, touch my wrist, and then I crank both hands up and I get a little elbow lock right here. Okay? Let me show that one more time. So she feeds the one, block, hug. If her leg is back, I may have to circle a little bit before I get my sweep, take her down, and then from here, I could finish that straight arm lock. I could just pin the arm to the ground and pin it down with my knee, or I could simply get up and run away if I don't want to stick around and actually disarm the person. Another option for the angle one, really actually before the angle one, is before the person even throws their attack, you can actually move in and clinch with the person, getting inside of that dangerous zone where that weapon can do some damage. So this is actually happening before they throw the attack. So she's got the weapon kind of cocked back like she wants to hit me. I'm kind of staying out of range. And then before she even gets that angle one off, boom, I move in and I clinch with her. So I get so close that she can't even fire off the attack. You could actually do the same thing with an empty-handed opponent, kind of defending against the, the punch as well. So again, for this one, I'm outside of that dangerous zone, and then before she even throws the attack, I move in with both hands up, just in case she does get that shot off. I can cover here, and then I move in for the clinch. From here, I could go with another takedown, maybe a hip throw. And then from here, I'd be finishing the same way. I can hit that straight arm lock, I can turn and run away, I can pin the arm to the ground. There's lots of ways I can follow up there. The last one for the angle one we'll look at is actually one that's going to come a little more from the Kali curriculum. This is a basic snake disarm. Now most of these disarms are generally done with me having the weapon as well, but we're going to do an empty hand version. She feeds the angle one, normally with a stick, go ahead, I'll be blocking her, her stick this way, go ahead, I'll be blocking the stick and wrapping the arm. Obviously that is not an option when I'm not using a weapon. So I have to close the distance and get inside the arm. And then from here, I wrap the wrist, and then I use the palm to disarm. And then from here, if I want to grab the weapon and use it back on them, I could, or I could just get rid of it and continue to control the person empty-handed. So again, for the snake disarm, block the arm, and now instead of clenching this way, like I did before, I stay more at long range. I wrap over the top here, hand is pointing up like I'm holding a plate in my hand, and then I turn and I hit here. I could, again, use the weapon against them, or I could just get rid of it, move into the clinch, and try to control if I want to be a little bit less violent. Now that's all going to defend the angle one. Let's take a look now at the backhand, the angle two, coming this way. More often than not, the person's going to start with the angle one, and then if they miss, they'll follow up with the backhand, okay? That's kind of the situation we're looking at. Most people aren't going to be coming up starting with that backhand shot. So the scenario is, she fed the angle one. I got out of the way, and then before that angle two gets here, I crash in and I clinch up with her. So this is kind of like that preemptive one where I close the distance before the shot even gets there. So she feeds the one, I get out of the way, then I move in and I clinch the body. Now maybe I'll hit a leg hook take down. Same thing, take her down to the ground and then I can control much easier. Once she's on the ground, she can't get as much power to do any damage once she's down there. Okay, so that's the first one. 
Second one is, now the attack is coming out a little bit more. I'm still dodging the angle one. As the two comes out, I block the arm, and now from here, I'm gonna roll into the straight arm block. And then I have a very simple disarm right here. I can drop the weapon, if it rolls here, I'll just kick it away, and then I can come back and finish the arm block. That one, one more time. She feeds the one. I get out of the way, I block the arm, grab, roll this forward, bite the elbow with my armpit, sit here, and then I could actually do some damage to the arm if I want, or I could just roll the stick around with a disarm. Again, I could turn back and use it if I felt necessary to do that. The third one that we're gonna show from the angle two is more, again, like a colleague disarm. Normally from the angle two, if I had a stick in my hand, I could block here with the stick and then do the reverse snake disarm. But now since I don't have a weapon, I've gotta get a little closer and block her arm with my arms. I don't wanna eat the shot from the stick if I can avoid it. So when the one comes in, I dodge. When the two comes in, I block here. And then from here, I use my left hand to drop here, circle around underneath the wrist. And then the reverse snake disarm kind of comes in this rotational motion. Generally what you'll do is you'll rotate and the weapon will pop out this way and actually fly out of their hands, okay? Let me show that one more time. Let's actually switch sides for this one. She feeds the one, I get out of the way. I block the two on the arm and then I lace this over, wrap it around the wrist, and then I eject this way. From here, I can come in for a punch, I can clinch, wrap the body, or I can just turn and run away if I wanted to just get away from the person. This is not an exhaustive list, there are other options, but I think these are some of the best options against those most common attacks, that angle one and angle two diagonal shots this will run into. And like I said, it doesn't have to be a stick, it could be literally anything, a crowbar. All these would also apply for the most part against a two-handed weapon like a baseball bat, a frying pan, literally anything somebody can pick up and try to hit you with. You could do something very similar here. Alright guys, enjoy that. We'll have more to come very soon.